Hi, this is Jeffrey Reddick, creator of Final Destination. Greetings, Slashaholics. This is David Bergantino, author of the Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror books, the Bard's Blood Horror Shakespeare books. Hey guys, this is Jason Brooks, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Vengeance. Hey, this is Slash Forever. Hey everybody, it's CJ Graham, Jason, Friday the 13th Part 6. This is William Patterson, known to Friday the 13th fans as Eric Morris. Hi, this is Deborah Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 5. Hey folks. This is Adam Marcus, director of Jason Goes to Hell and Secret Santa. <laughs> Hello, kitties. This is John Kassir, the voice of the Crypt Keeper. Hi, this is Kane Hodder, better known as Jason from Friday the 13th, Victor Crowley from Hatchet. And you're listening. You're listening. And you're listening. And you're listening. I just want to make sure you guys know you're listening. You are listening. And you are listening. And you are lucky enough to be listening. Okay, boils and ghouls, you are listening. You are listening to the 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. The 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. To 80s slasher librarian. To 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. Keep listening, or I'll kill you. So you refuse to go with Belinda. Here's what happened. No thanks, you say to Belinda. I've had enough excitement for one night. I'm going back to the house. Uh, Good night. You turn and start walking, but your head is full of questions. What was in Belinda's bundle? Why was she so adamant about having Harry hold on to that scrubby piece of land? What did she mean when she said that there was a shadow on your life? You grin. The farther you get from Belinda, the more absurd her predictions begin to sound, and the more you believe she was working in cahoots with the Naldo men. It must have all been an act to fool you. You're so deep in thought as you pass the picker's cabin that you don't see or hear the men hiding in the bushes. They grab you from behind, clap a chloroform-soaked cloth over your nose, and load you into a waiting truck. When the authorities in Austin, Texas, pick you up for vagrancy, you have no identification and no recollection of who you are. Your life is like a shadow. You are sent to a care facility and then to a series of foster homes, but you never find your real parents. The only stirring of memory you have comes when you see a TV documentary. Something about peach farming in British Columbia rings a bell. Though you try to remember why, you never do. The end. Well, listeners, that was a very uh, depressing ending you got yourself into there. Um, How about you try the other option, and this time go with Belinda and see what happens when you do that. The path awaits.